You may know a few weeks ago I took the family on an aeroplane and we stayed at the SeaWorld Resort for a week. We flung around the Gold Coast and had a look at all the sights, jumped on all the rides and had an absolute ball. As you can see, the little one, he uh, had a fantastic time. It was good to get away, find some new friends and some of our favourite friends, including those Ninja Turtles. How good is that? And now uh, old mate here just kicking it on the step. But anyway, such a fantastic place is the Gold Coast. And we had a ball. Today I'm not here to show you all of my holiday. It was nice to kick the shoes off and uh, let the sand go through our feet. But I want to show you what i seen from a reseller perspective and my thoughts on these op shops. So we went to many and I didn't spend heaps of time in them. But there were some really good ones and some uh, piss takes on the pricing there. I also took the family along so let's kick things off and we'll start here on the Gold Coast Strip at the Salvos where they've got the overpriced Hugos. Another $20 pair there and 15 is not bad on the Ralph Lauren's. The Dick Lord shirt, five bucks, that's all right there. But have a look at this, corduroy vintage billabong for seven. That is a steal. Absolutely smoking but who needs a security guard? That's a new one. So we forgot some supplies, so I've got to go back out, which means I might try and find another op shop. Hopefully a little bit better in price than uh, yesterday. It's so hot in this car, I just caught in it. It's been out here cooking all day. Uh, we've done a few laps around SeaWorld, so the family having a rest. Uh, I'm on holidays, but I'm going for a quick hustle. Let's get into it. So back on the hunt, we found this vintage target piece and this little vintage zip up there. I did grab this one actually. Uh, love the look of it. Now this shop in particular, pricing's all right. Tommy Hill figure, uh, five bucks there. Generally, I probably would have near on picked that up. I don't really go hard on the polos and stuff, but some very basic tees, but all the pricing in this particular shop was few on point. So I uh, can't complain, bin chicken meeting. And this little strip here is about five in a row. So we started the Lighthouse Op Shop, which gave me a bit of nostalgia. I thought I was immune to op shops, and op shops no longer smelt like them anymore because I spent so much time in them. But this one smelt like an op shop. I think it must be because they're all getting a bit fancy pants these days that they uh, don't have that musky smell anymore. But this one did. But it was very overpriced. Have a look at some of these jeans. We've got Billabong jeans at 20 bucks. Um, some Kmart jeans and stuff at like 15, 20 bucks. I know it's newer tags, but not happy. Cotton on, $20 jacket. So we got out of there and went to Vinnie's, which I found the RM Williams for 150. Nearly spewed, which is uh, almost as bad as the 15 Catalyst jeans. What's going on here, Gold Coast? Got a pair of Bisley there. Uh, footy boots were all overpriced. Look, I'm getting a bit harsh on the pricing, but it's just not what I'm used to. So anyway, we fanged on over to the Lifeline, which was a couple of doors down. Two bucks a basket? I don't think that's right. I, don't, I didn't even pay attention to that. Uh, I don't know. There must have been something behind that, surely. But this shop was pretty good. Um, you know, everything was five, six bucks, all the jeans and stuff. I based an op shop on the jeans. If you know, everything's around the five, six dollar mark or under. They should be all right. But this one was big. It was nice. There was nothing in there. Uh, I didn't get anything, but uh, it was a decent shop. Looked like they had a bit of self-respect, which was nice. Um, lots and bits of pieces in here. And the uh, ADD Care op shop. So came into this one. It wasn't too bad either. Uh, men's t-shirts, $3. When you've got that one fixed price on items, I respect that a lot because there's no favoritism. Doesn't matter what's in there. Everything is the one price. They are the best op shops in my opinion. Um, there was a lot of decent stuff in here that I would have normally got. I didn't this day just because I didn't want to be carting stuff home. I wasn't here to get a lot. Here's another one, you know, three for five bucks. Uh, that's absolutely ripping idea. And these couple of op shops at the end were really, really, really good. And, you know, I just respect those op shops for doing that. I think that's probably the best way for them to price their items. Good morning, everyone. 
So we did have a bit of a sad day while we we're out and about. I decided after eight long years of rolling in the same kicks, it was time for a model upgrade. These things were buggered and I needed some new bunion protectors. So unfortunately they had to go. So here is to another eight years. Coming to the up shop. She was a bit dear in here the other day, but we'll go again, eh? Oh, having a ball in there, are you? What'd you get, dude? You were looking for one of them in the movie world and couldn't find it, could you? And then you got him. You know better than me. I got nothing. So now sadly back to reality, but we had two other little children that uh, missed us. Um, holidays are always fun, have a stretch old dog, there you go. But I uh, had an absolute ball up there. It wasn't about thrifting, it wasn't about sort of working. I tried to tune out for majority of this holiday and spend the time with the family. But of course, there's an op shop, there's an op shop. You're gonna go and have a look, aren't you? He's cracked the shits with me. Um, anyway, it was really good up there. There was a few that, you know, really good priced, it was typical op shop stuff, but I was blown away by uh, the Salvos and Vinnies up there. The pricing, I thought they were getting bad here, but it was nothing. Some like jeans, 25, 30 bucks, pretty much for anything that's a good brand. So um, yeah, that really wigged me out a bit, but uh, it is what it is. I guess they get a lot of tourism there, so it makes sense for them. I guess they would sell it. Um, fair enough, I've got nothing against them selling shit at a higher price. Uh, that's up to them, but I just think it kind of doesn't make sense, especially here where I live. So um, anyway, if that's what they want to do, that's their item. They can do it. We do it in our own stores, don't we? But anyway, holidays all over. Now back into it. Uh, been very busy the last couple of weeks. Lots going on here. I am working towards doing more content. The next few weeks are going to be hectic. So I've got some fun stuff coming up that I'm going to show you. But uh, anyway, thanks for joining in on our holiday champions. Appreciate you being here and I'll see you in the next one. Whoa. Gone a week, and you think you're only John? What's this? What's this? That's my bed. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? You miss us? You miss us? I want me bed back. You weasel.